Honey Bun TV. Hey Honey Buns and what is up today? We are going to be making a glittery snowsuit and here's what you'll need. You'll need some scissors, measuring tape of course, a zipper, and you'll need approximately four yards of fabric. So you'll need two yards really for your outside and two yards for your inside. And elastic is optional. I will be making another snowsuit using elastic. But for this snowsuit, I did not use it. Although I had every intention to. But things change, people change, feel the change too. Now, you are going to fold your fabric hot dog style. Hot dog style parallel. Up and down. You should have the lengthiest length of your fabric not wide if that makes sense you know and then you're just going to cut all the way down now from this you should have two pieces you really should have four meaning two for the outside two for the inside so let's get started me when i usually cut fabric if i know i have to make a bodysuit or something like that i usually start with the top if i have long sleeves because i have to cut the front and back and the arms and collar x y and z so we are going to start with your top half now this is a bodice i use this bodice all day every day i know she getting tired of me as you can see the bodice is for your bust your waist and your hips I'm going about three and a half inches down from my waist, really four inches down from my waist, and then I'm just going to fold it over. I'm not going to cut it all the way down to my hip because guess what? When I cut my pants, my pants are going to already hit my hips, okay? And then I'm just going to add approximately two and a half inches extra to my pattern because i don't want my snowsuit to be snug and i will put everything down below in the description box step by step so this is what it looks like when it's cut out now you really should have four pieces of this and you just have four pieces literally just by folding your fabric over now the reason why i'm cutting this in the middle is because this is for our front this is where our zipper is gonna um go and also this is the opening for it so i'm laying this out so you can see me doing that right now boom see how that works yes now what i'm about to show you is scrap fabric but this is really for the collar we don't waste fabric around here keep your scraps they always come in handy now that we got that out the way we are literally just going to go ahead and finish off by cutting the arms and we're going to finish off by cutting our legs as well which are just simply your pattern now the same way that i added two inches to my bodice my top area i'm going to apply that to my pants and i'm going to apply that to my arms and you see here me writing f and b on these sticky notes it's because I don't want to get my front and back pants mixed up. And why? Because your rise for the back, well, you know, you got back back there, right? And you don't got back in the front. You got back back there. So if you mix that up, it's just not going to come out good. And we don't need that. All my pieces are cut now. And make sure you cut your pieces for the inside, which is literally you're just putting these top pieces on top. And there's me just measuring out to make sure the collar works X, Y, and Z. But we will do that again and I will show you how. Now, let's get to sewing. Now, as you can see, my inside is black. My outside is glittery. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build my top piece first, right, with my arms and all that. And then I'm going to build my inside the same way. And then we are going to put them together so they can be connected. So once they're together, this is what it should look like, right? The black on the inside, the glittery on the outside. But right now, let's start with the glittery. So as you saw me earlier doing, I cut the piece open, right? That's your front. And for your back, your back, you don't cut. So I'm placing the front piece, one of them, because there's two pieces, on top of my back. So I'm matching them up. As you can see me doing right here, I'm literally matching them up. And where you're going to sew, you're going to sew where it looks like the shoulder, right? And on the sides. This is what it should look like just like a shirt just like a shirt or a jacket that you're thinking of here you can see me doing i'm sewing the inside right now so i can place on the inside of that this is what the inside should also look like 
Now, since you have two pieces, what we are going to do is flip this glittery side inside out. And you are going to do the same for the black, which it low key does not matter, but it does in this instance. For the simple fact, you need to make sure your seams are both facing outward and are lined up to each other, as you can see me here doing. So it should be seam to seam. And if you don't do it like that, then one seam will be showing. And we don't want the seams to be showing as such. So literally turn your jacket inside out and turn that one inside out. Basically good sides facing each other. So I'm just fixing it to make sure everything lines up and matches up. And if it doesn't match up right away, if you made a mistake and made the fabric too, cut the fabric too big, it's definitely okay. Pin it to make sure that it stays in place on the machine. So now I'm just sewing it down. And what are we going to leave open? We're going to leave the bottom open so we can literally turn it inside out. So leave the bottom open as well as the top. And this is what I mean by that. Literally. As you can see me doing. You see that the top is open and so is the bottom. Right. So this is the front piece. The two pieces that I met where you will be putting a zipper. That's where you're going to open the snowsuit up. You're going to get in there and X, Y, and Z. Now let's put our collar on now if you don't want a collar on your snowsuit that's cool too but how i cut my collar i was low-key in a rush so i did not measure but to make sure that you are on key on point you're literally just going to match the fabric up now i did make a mistake and make my collar longer than my neckline was but that's totally okay because what can we do? We can literally just cut the fabric down and match it up seam to seam. This is what I mean by that mistake that I made, which is cutting too much fabric. Right? So now all I'm going to do is just cut that down to where that seam is. And then I'm going to place it on there. So now I'm just cutting it, seeing if this size will work. No, I got to cut it more. And once I do this final cut, it will match up. I'm going to sew that down. I'm going to flip it inside out, of course. And then once we place it, we'll flip it inside out. We are literally going to sew it on, matching up those seams. So you see me matching that seam up right there? Matching that seam up and making sure the other seams are matched up with it. So go ahead and do that. Match them up and then sew. And as you're sewing, just making sure that sometimes fabric really can slip. But you're just going to make sure that your fabric is on one accord. And all pieces are literally on top of each other stacked. Almost like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And you can see me doing that right here. Now that we are basically halfway done with our top part, we're going to need to add the arms. But as you can see, this is what it should look like. You see that collar, you see that arm opening. Now we are going to sew the arms. Right sides facing each other, good sides facing each other, twin sides facing each other. Sew that baby down. You should have an opening of a top and bottom. And a lot of times you will have the opening of a top and bottom. So don't sew the bottom and don't sew the top. Now we're going to move on to the pants. Same thing. But the only thing is we are going to sew. As you can see this curve. That is the crotch area right there. And you want to make sure that this is the front or the back. I had to double check and make sure if it was a front and a back. Because sometimes I be getting confused. And you do not want to make the mistake of sewing your back to the front and sewing your front to the back. Because you it will be placed on you funny. It's like putting your pants on backwards. These are how the pants should look. And you're going to do the back. And after you do the back... This is what it should look like. You're going to place it on top of each other. Once you place them on top of each other, as you can see me here doing, since I don't want to get the back mixed up, I'm just placing my logo um, there real quick to make sure I don't mess nothing up. I don't want to mess nothing up. 
So you are going to connect it at the crotch area. Like I said, match those seams up. Connect at the crotch area, which is in the middle, and go all the way down that leg. And then you're just going to do it on the other side, right? So, match the seams, meet at the crotch, go down. And we're going down. And this is just me sewing the black piece for that. But, once you go down on that leg and on the other side, you are just going to sew the other side of the leg pants. You should have an opening at the top and the bottom. So here, you see me sewing the leg on the other side. But you see that there's an opening at the bottom as well. Now, I know this may sound repetitive, but a lot of things for sewing to get and achieve that look are sewing things basically inside out, making sure your right sides match. So as I did in the beginning with making your jacket first, and then making the inside jacket and connecting them, you're gonna do the same thing for the arms. Same thing with the pants. Connecting at the end, making both separate, but connecting them at the end. Here, I'm just putting the arm on though. So match up your seams and sew around and that's how you're gonna get the arm. I'm gonna do it again. So open the arm up, right sides facing each other, matching up those seams and going around and if you don't understand it right now that's okay i'm gonna make another tutorial with another snowsuit but also take your time it's okay take your time just as i said in the beginning just like how i connected those two jackets the same way connecting the legs and the arms the only thing is you're just connecting them at the bottom and folding them in or you can literally just place them on top of each other inside. But I'm just taking them from inside out and making them right sides. Right sides in? I'm making them the right side. <laughs> Anyways, now here I'm just sewing the back of um, the pants to get any excess fabric off to keep them connected. This is the bottom, which are the pants for the snow suit. Now, you have your pants, but where's your top? Get your top, right? And how are we going to connect this? We are going to find out where is the middle of this top section. So I'm just about to fold it so I can line my seams up, honey. I'm lining them up. I'm finding the middle. And I'm going to match the middle seam with the middle seam on my pants as well as the other seams. All it is really is you're basically sewing in a circle. So you see how I'm matching up those seams? You're going to sew all the way around until your jacket basically closes. But remember, we have an opening for the zipper to sew there. So go ahead and sew. Match those seams up as you see me doing. Now, this is how it came out. See, this area right here, my zipper is 20 inches long, measured out 20 inches. And now I'm just going to sew my zipper All on. Right, honey buns, this is how your snowsuit should come out. See you next week on Honey Bun TV. Mwah!